Mr. Smith. Oh my goodness. Um, what what I do now? What did I do now? You already know what should you should know. I done got so many complaints in the neighborhood about the yard. What about my yard? Why haven't you treated your yard? What you mean treated? You got all these weeds in the yard. So wait a minute. First you get on me for not cutting it. Now it's cut. Okay, you yeah. Tell me it and they've been be complaining treated? and they've been complaining about the bugs too. Like there's some spray or some fertilizer you could put on the grass that helps with the bugs as well. Are you the neighbors sure? been complaining. What neighbors? Forget them. This is I no, and ain't forget them. That's the rules. You can't have weeds in this neighborhood. Like they your yard looks so ugly with all the white flowers. That is not, that's not nice with it. That's bringing down the that's, property value. But what you mean? That's that, bringing down the property value in this neighborhood. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That looks good. Look at it. That looks real good. No, it well, does it's not. Just, it's no, just it a do few not. little white flowers. They're weeds. Oh. Those aren't flowers. They're weeds. Well, the bees like them. I think exactly. The that's like why they complain. The neighbors is complaining about the bugs. You need to get rid of these you weeds. You got one by your head. Yeah, you need to get rid of these weeds. So I'm going to give you three days. Because it don't take that long. Go to the store or you can call and get this stuff took care of. How are you just going to come over here and try to give me a deadline like that? Like, I'm busy. The fourth tomorrow. I okay, got... well, you know what happens if you don't meet deadlines. It's a fine. $150 fine. It's in your lease. This is nothing new. I know it's new to you, but in this neighborhood, these are the rules. So if you can't abide by the rules, you can just pay the fine. That's fine. And I'll take that $150 and I'll have somebody come out here and do it for you. Wow. Unbelievable. No, this yard is unbelievable. It look good though. I mean, do it's you just... see anybody else's house on this block look like that? It's just a little brown. Dude, it? like I said, and that's another thing. Yeah, you ain't been watering your grass. Well, it's supposed to rain. How am I going to be... Just because everybody else's stuff green because they use their water and water. I, I want my water for other stuff. Okay, whatever. Like I said, I would, I'd rather use my water washing my car or something. Okay. This grass. Take care of the weeds and the bugs. And then we'll talk about the brown grass after you take care of that. Because that's wait, another wait, issue. Wait, 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 wait. The brown grass so is you, the issue as well. That's in, All this is in your lease now. You got to keep the yard up can't have brown grass, you can't have weeds, your grass gotta be cut to a certain height. You know this. Or did you not read your lease? I'm gonna just move. Your you lease, know, did you not read your lease? Mess. Well, that's fine. I'm pretty sure the neighbors will be happy that you move. Do us all a favor, because you're bringing down a property value already. With the way this yard look, all the people you be having out here, be hanging out on the porch and all of that, music be loud playing, stuff like, yeah. All right, whatever. I'm going to try to get three somebody days. to take care of it. I'll, All right, I'll it. be back in three days. <sighs> and I'm not even going to come come and tell you. I'm just going to ride past. If I still see it, I'll, the fine will be in your mailbox. Whatever. Yard looks fine. 